hello guys and welcome back to my channel for F1 2016 as you can see we're here in the beautiful track of Singapore here in Marina Bay and uh, as you can see the last the last drug upgrade has been put on the car and we're pretty much fully upgraded on both the engine and the drug we still got the fuel efficiency the success weight and downforce so with some noise we're gonna make it through and actually make uh, put all the upgrades on the car, but anyways, we're looking pretty good. We're the fastest car. Uh, Kevin seems to be a little, a little bit more, more faster than the start of the season, probably because of the the performance of the car. So I'm really, really thinking about a constructive championship at the end of the season. But now, at the end of this season, and now going on to practice, you can see track acclimatization tests and. Um, which is uh, trying to, to set some purples, you know, it is a uh, bit of a drizzling there, as you can see on the track, and we got some greens right here through those corners, uh, because it was going to be a bit conservative, uh, just because of the weather conditions, they want to just bump the car into a wall and just end the practice session in such a way, but as you can see, once again, again the purples run a little bit wide, and that's more greens put into our lap and uh, of course that wasn't really what we wanted but the other day you know we set the uh, quite a lot of purples and I made it take the purple result on the drug optimization test and um, it was a good start, a good start of the weekend but then wet conditions so it was time to put on the wet tires and I wasn't really feeling comfortable on the wet tires uh, I was having uh, quite a lot of problems with the brakes on those wet conditions and um, the problem that needed to be solved, unless uh, we wouldn't get that purple result. But as you see now, right here, this is a decisive lap for us because if we get this purple, I think we're gonna be clear and actually get the perfect result on this uh, time management test. You can see I'm really slow. I don't know what's the matter with this because I don't know. Like I wasn't feeling comfortable. As you can see, I'm I'm not really going really fast on really fast on the throttle. And um, get the purples up. Really, really frustrating the way we're driving. As you can see, getting another purple to end the test. And uh, next up was the ti uh, time management. No, the qualifying pace test. Once again, on those wet tires. It's not like. Is it gonna give me some slower laps with some on the wet tires? But, you know, I had to try it out. I had nothing to lose pretty much. As you can see there, we pushed quite a lot throughout through the last corner without the green and probably we're just going to make it and we got the green result which is actually really really amazing for me to get. Next up of course was pole position lap and we couldn't see on the second lap which is seventh which was pretty bad. And um, now, next we had to do another lap. Um, I try to do that lap as you can see right here, going through this corner, we're already green there, but after like through the next couple of corners we lost uh, quite a lot of time and after the last corner we gained quite a lot of time. Could we actually get the pole position lap? Well, it's a really, really good lap, it's an improved lap, but still a green result, so yeah, we pretty much were, were perfect in the tire management test and the track optimization test. I uh, really don't have anything to add. As you can see, Jason Patton finishing second in our practice session. So those McLarens are looking very strong here in Singapore and especially in wet conditions. So we've got to wait until qualifying to see how will it like how 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 will the, how strong will the McLarens be? But unfortunately for them, it's dry right conditions. And as you already know, the fastest the car is. The faster the car is, the better it is on dry conditions. On wet conditions, there's a chance that slower cars might get a bit of an advantage over the faster cars. But here on dry conditions, I think there's no chance. I think we're gonna get pole position. We're now on our final lap. Um, kind of sign P8. And uh, now on lap on the ultra softs. Already into the first sector, we're 70 thousands of seconds slower than our teammate. But the thing that I said still really is a thing because Kevin Magnussen, who's my teammate, is actually on pole, provisional on pole position. But now I think through the second segment we could make the difference here, but no, we just quietly can't. 
two tenths lower this time and now through the third sector is going to be um, if we get some good exits here we also got a little bit of a slip through from Felipe Nasser through the final corner can we get pole position for the Singapore Grand Prix yes we can I think that was a purple right here and um, if I'm correct yes we got pole position in the Singapore Grand Prix what a great way to end Saturday um, we got the race and we get pole position for the race tomorrow Kevin Magnuson second place and yeah it's a front row lockout for the Renault team let's hope we can get the, the one two also into the race and yeah let's get into the race and hope we can have a good race as the sun sets over the South China Sea, the sport that never sleeps is alert and raring to go. Welcome, under the bright lights of the Marina Bay circuit, to another Singapore Grand Prix. It's a very long, very physical lap, this one, and really there's not much in the way of margin for error. So we have a bit of an endurance race for you tonight. Situated just 88 miles north of the equator, this three and a half mile circuit is hot, it's humid, and is an incredible test for the drivers as they try to fight their cars around the bumps and in between the barriers. 23 corners take us twice over the bay to complete a single lap of this unique racetrack. The view is spectacular, the heat is unbearable. The race should be incredible. I for one can't wait to get started and there's another very excited little chap here beside me as well. It's our very own Anthony Davidson. Great to see you again today. Thanks for that, Crofty, and I'm really anxious to get underway here. We've got all the makings of a great race today. World champions in competitive cars, lots of drivers on form, and I suspect a few strategists on the pit wall looking to try something a bit different and maybe jump their cars up the order. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Trying to cover the inside line off the start. So here we are, guys, for the Singapore Grand Prix on the grid of the Singapore Grand Prix. We start from pole position as I've already told you and the uh, strategy seems really legit to me. It's gonna be a dry race and pretty much we're gonna go on the ultra softs, then on the super softs and then once again on a set of ultra softs. So, um, time for the formation lap as you can possibly see and um, Kevin actually got to a better start there. Is so he gonna get to a better start in the real race? Uh, well, we'll have to wait and see. But, uh, it's going to be too late until the start of the race and already the lights are going to go off in a bit. It's now five lights and it's lights out and away we go. Nice getaway by myself I think and I think there's not going to be danger from Kevin Ragnarsson up the inside and make a bit of a... I left him some space in order to go up the inside but he didn't so we're into the lead of the Singapore Grand Prix so now it's going to be a hard walk for Kevin to keep up ahead of Darren Carter and also at the same time trying to attack me so we'll see how the race is gonna go and now we make a huge lock up that wasn't what I really wanted and Kevin Magnussen right here gets me down the inside after a terrible mistake by me and then we make another mistake right here a small lock up but I don't know what is going on like I had some I had some lock up there every now and then in the first lap so that really cost me right here sometime and Kevin is now into the lead same lap we're gonna try and make a move on Kevin Magnussen on the slip in down the inside off the Dennis and uh, we fluffed it up once again beautifully beautifully made now Daniel also gets down the inside of me we're down into P3 that's probably the worst start I've ever had into an F1 race in this Karimu like I don't know what is going on guys we seem to lock pace we also seem to make a lot of mistakes and now we're gonna try and get down Ricardo to it to to make damage limitations right here and yes we got down Ricardo we're back up to P2 and now it's just Kevin for the lead of this race and right now, lap 5 it is, everybody sets fastest laps as we go up the inside of Kevin Magnussen. Can we make it stick this time? No, we can't. And once again, we lose the position down, Ricardo. What 
are we doing here? Every single time I lock up into turn 1, Daniel gets me. This is getting a bit boring right here for me. As Ricardo now gets DRS, can he actually make it somewhere around Kevin to get the lead? No, he doesn't. We got down inside, Darren Ricardo. We almost made contact. Thank God we didn't, and we're back into P2. This race is 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 actually a really good race. I wasn't expecting to have so many chances for overtakes and stuff, but now Kevin is going a little bit off. Um, he's actually on the pace, and he actually gets away from me. And at the same time, the same notes, Darren Ricciardo gets me and couldn't make a return, a re-overtake or something. He actually gets me for P2. And now he's going to be a real threat for Kevin Magnus in the lead of this race, possibly. But now everybody has made their pit stops, and for the first time in history of Formula One, I'm going to be the second driver of Renault to make pit stops. Like Kevin, has pit it first. Like even this has happened. He seems to be faster than me. I don't know what is happening, but for real, like Kevin seems to be faster than me in this race. But now, what the, what the f? What the F Renault? Really? Really behind for Sapper? Now I have to do double the job. Oh, Kevin is there. Kevin has just re overtaken us. He must have got hold up in traffic. But now Darren Ricardo and Max Verstappen. Has he exited the pit? He has went side by side with his teammate. At the same time, we are just behind Carlos and we need to get away from Sainz and get rid of him as soon as possible. We've done it. And I was like the Red Bulls. I wasn't expecting Darren Ricardo to be so close. Like even Kevin is pretty close. They must have get held. They must have got held up in traffic. Lapet it is again, guys. Darren Ricciardo is stuck behind Felipe Nasser. He's gonna. Be, he's probably gonna make the move stick right now. Verstappen also tries to get it down. He just quietly can't. As he got closed down by Darren Ricciardo, we make a double move into turn one. We get both Max Verstappen and Felipe and Nasser, and Max is also going to lose some time behind Nasser until he gets into the back straight. And uh, we now have uh, Dan Ricciardo to get rid of, uh, who's uh, probably going to be stuck behind Daniel Kvyat. And really aggressive move down the inside right here. I didn't even need to get into a straight. Straight away, great move it is. And yeah, as you can see, I'm really pushing really hard. <coughs> so for my so for my cough but now lap 11 it is Kevin is getting rid of those park market cars he, it really is hard because um really is hard because Kevin really has to get rid of those guns he really can't, can't get them through the corners he just still has to wait until the back straight or stuff in his straight and now he's stuck behind Harry Anto as you can see and he's gonna be a dive bomb right here wasn't meant to dive bump him right here but he just went really slow I don't know what was it but probably Harry Antus stopped the car apparently broke two alien we made the move stick so now we're provisionally P1 and probably we're now gonna get uh, rear Harry Anto in his mano and uh, we're provisionally in P1 so everything seems to be working for us and um, yeah I don't really have anything to add like we've made the moves we needed to make Recently in P1, we just gotta wait for the others to make the pit stops. Lap 12. Uh, I said soft stocking because uh, because I just forgot that my teammate is really strong today. He has the pace and he has just made the move for provisional P1 in the Singapore Grand Prix. Great move by Kevin Magnussen. Respectful battle. Lap 15 it is and getting a little bit closer to Kevin and there's a safety car safety car and I'm is that going to change the strategy if I think like if I go on the softs I might be slower but I'm gonna be a long way ahead of the others because I don't think anyone else is gonna try out this strategy and uh, I think I'm gonna be miles ahead of anybody. Oh no! Kevin is going into the pits! And on that note, um, probably a lot of you are gonna be like, What the fuck are you doing, TM? What the 
fuck are you doing? Well, um, you can say that, but if I would stay in another extra lap, I keep up to the strides that I, that I was meant to go with, I would have lost around 20 seconds and I wouldn't have any chance of winning this race. But now, I know I got double stuck, but I didn't lose any position. First of all, I'm gonna be right behind my teammate. Gaps are gonna be like minimized to zero, reduced to zero. So I didn't lose that much of time with a double stack, so I think it's pretty okay. I think that was the best thing to do. If I would stay another extra lap, I would be stuck behind some traffic and I would lose a lot of time. But now let's just get rid of all that. You can see that we didn't lose any any time. Like I'm just one second behind my teammate, but if I want to stay on that one second, I need to make a move on Romain Grosjean. We gotta make that move stick. We made it stick. And uh, ahead of us, the top four with uh, my teammate Rosberg, Kimi Raikkonen, and Lewis Hamilton fighting for that victory. So we just gotta wait and see what is gonna happen. Is Hamilton going to extend the lead? We just gotta wait and see. Nico really seems to be off the pace at the moment. He doesn't really seem to be as far as the top three runs here. And um, we're just gonna make a move stick up the inside of him. Nice and easy up into P4. And now my team seems to be stuck behind Kim Rakan, who also seems to lock pace. And uh, as uh, my teammate gets him, it's time for me to get him. So um, Kimi Rakan and it is uh, squeezed up to the inside line here. We make that move still faster sector, you can really see that we're pushing really hard. So the soft tires pretty much walk fine for me at the moment. They don't really seem to be that that slow. And now it's time for my teammate. 26 lap, 5 laps remaining till the end of this Singapore Grand Prix. We'll make a bit of a lock up here. I need to be I'm, I'm in a bit of a rush. Because Hamilton seems to be on a great pace at the moment on our super soft tires, but his tires are gonna wear off at the end of this the end of the race, so there we go, 31st lap, very very close to Lewis Hamilton, this is just the, the final sector, can we make a move on Lewis Hamilton through the last corner, we take that, see my touch the wall, but we go down the inside of Lewis Hamilton at the moment, she gets around the outside probably, we stay side by side, we squeeze him off, and at the same time my teammate gets P2, and don't you dare tell me, the me, and Kevin Magnussen has just cleared off Hamilton, and we got a 1 2 for Renault, what the what a race that was what a what a race from poor position to winning but that doesn't really mean anything like we, we had a lot of battles and winning at the last lap is just absolutely insane what a race that was what a race that was just really suited their car today wind track temperature you name it these cars come alive when the tires are just at the right temperature and it was so one of those races I didn't really have the there, pace like the your race tends to go. it would be exactly what Kevin or Hamilton so would be a deserved Head winner but apparently once again it's me it we fought for that victory and yeah like Congratulations to the what Panthers a race for their excellent win today. so many battles so many I know I named, I think I named my last uh, F1 2016 video best race ever or like uh, amazing battles or something, I don't really know how to name this one we've really, we've really had some amazing battles throughout this season although we have the fastest car, it's been a really really enjoyable and interesting season so those are the final race results, 1-2 for the Renault team once again like in Monza, I love this I love getting one too. So we're talking about McLaren Honda got a 10 and 11th place after starting from sixth and fifth. So really not good from the McLaren team. Lewis Hamilton on third, Kim Rakan on fourth, Roman Grosjean on fifth, Sergio Perez on sixth, Fett on seventh, Kvyat on eighth, Rodrigo Bottas on ninth, completing the top 10 with the McLarens down below him. And um, our standings, I think that's that's a bit of a, another story. 19 points. Ahead of Max Verstappen, Dan Ricciardo, we're ahead of him, 122 points, like what are we doing here, I've been dominating this season, but the main thing we're gonna look up for uh, is Kevin Magnussen, we've gotta wait and see if he gets some more results, some more good results, he can fight for that second place in the driver standings, because track standings, win our first by 43 points from the Red Bull team, Ferrari in third, and Mercedes in fourth, so we must dominate both. Uh, the championship so yeah seems like a really really good season for me 
I don't know good reason to leave the team at the end of the season, but no other further guys, if you enjoy smash the like button, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, ask me anything you want to confirm. And yeah, till the next one, I'll see you next time guys. Goodbye.